Between aging and busy lifestyles, many women struggle with maintaining their physical and mental wellness. At Aquavita Concierge Healthcare Services for Women, we can help you revitalize your health and reclaim your life. We start from within by balancing your hormones, allowing your body to achieve and maintain desired weight goals. We also specialize in peptide therapies, regenerative medicine, sexual health, and aesthetics in our state-of-the-art facilities. Feel better, look better, live better. At Aquavita, visit aquavitality.com and begin your journey today. Breast milk science. It's a thing. And it's our thing. We're Byheart. We're an infant formula company on a mission to get a lot closer to the most super, super food on the planet. Breast milk. Our patented protein blend has more of the important and most abundant proteins found in breast milk. We're the first and only U.S.-made formula to use organic, grass-fed whole milk, not skim. We make our formula in our own factories in Iowa, Oregon, and Pennsylvania using a small batch manufacturing process that works to preserve the integrity of our ingredients. We ran the largest clinical trial by a new infant formula company in 25 years and clinically proved benefits like easier digestion, less gas, and softer poops versus a leading infant formula. We were the first infant formula company to earn the Clean Label Project Purity Award. And while we've put a lot into Byheart, there's a long list of things you won't see on our ingredient list, like no corn syrup, no maltodextrin, no GMO ingredients, no soy, no palm oil. Byheart, a better formula for formula. Learn more at byheart.com. Hold it in. You can be an incredible man that you know you are. I thought that that you only you're only supposed to apply that in November. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Nah, nah, man. Don't you know that the sacred Texas yeah. that was written yesterday yeah. clearly states that what has happened in November past does not come to November future. Well, Joe Biden's got elected during November, didn't he? <laughs> so uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, oh, the that point is, is about the yeah, yeah. No, so this is about no what fat. What you're saying is the rest of the year outside of November is just like open dick season, right? Yeah, yeah that's right, Hell man. Yeah. I I figured December would be like the one month where everyone just goes extra hard, just because you know they had the All whole the time month. off and shit. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? It goes, yeah. one of, it goes one of two ways. Like, either become more of a psycho or yeah, you, yeah, yeah. like, just get, like, a whole new perspective on life. You yeah, know? you realize, exactly. like, God, I'm sick. You look yeah. at your fucking... <laughs> you look at your fucking... I you need look at fucking, your fucking help. <laughs> I need Jesus. Yeah, why am I jacking off to Five Nights at Freddy's <laughs> hentai? Where am I? Hey, oh, my God. Rule 34. My awakening. My awakening. My awakening. <laughs> Rule 34 of the Awakening. Oh, man. <laughs> the rules of the internet, bro. Dog, I don't even understand. Like, it just, yeah, that shit's, that shit's funny to me. It's like, it's like the same guys that are on Reddit, like, showing each other each other's dicks and shit. Look at how <laughs> amazing like, this is. Yeah, they're this making ain't up. This gay at all. They're fucking making up rules uh, <laughs> on to uh, not uh, jerk it. Yeah, right. <laughs> The guy who started that was just like laughing this. all November. He's probably got all the all the Pornhub bandwidth to himself. He's just like ah ha ha, and thinking he won. Yeah, I made it like a fucking cock bandit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, man! I still haven't grabbed my drink. You guys continue talking about. Were you playing Spider Man? Yeah, yeah on PS4. Ah, PS4. I got the remastered one on PS5. What's oh, up? Yeah? Oh, you do? Shoot. Oh, way to go! Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, I, I got it. I got one on PS5 too. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, well now I fucking uh, I have an Xbox. Yeah, you're the hot man out. Yeah, the what's up now, bitches? Sit the damn back. Sit <laughs> the back. They own everything. Nobody worry about your ass. <laughs> Sit the back. Guys, oh, put your dicks away. About you. We ain't thinking yeah, about yeah. you. <laughs> oh, very put your dicks away. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Shit. Pull your dagger back, son. My broadsword is out now. <laughs> put your dagger away. Put your pocket knife away, please. Shit. What the fuck are you going to do with that other to make everybody mad? You should be ashamed of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I saw, oh, this, uh, I saw this, this, this TikTok where uh, it was these two girls that were like uh, just pretending to be dudes. And one of the li- one of the lines that they used was like, "My grandpa had half a dick and four families." <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, what is this? What did I just? What did I TikTok. just? Fucking- yeah, I don't know. It was a, it was just this random TikTok of like, these two. Yeah, it was a oh, dick talk. I, I technically, nice. it was a dick talk. It was hey, these- can we make an app called Dick Talk where it's for all those redditors <laughs> that are just showing each other each other's dicks and shit? <laughs> yeah, but then I take the fun out of Reddit, wouldn't it? No, I'm well. Yeah, I don't know what the fucking good Reddit's for. It's just it's only good. The Reddit's only good to start like uh, 
um, mobbing the capital. Yeah. Yeah, and all sorts of other um, or taking over uh, like crazy stock activities. I don't care what anybody says, dude. Jan- January sixth was the worst day since the day slavery started. All right. I know that's one hell of a reach, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, they were doing well, it all I mean, January. I mean, I mean like that was it. the that was the most news they were talking God, about in man. January. Actually, what, January sixth is the third worst thing to happen to anybody since No Nut November. So yes, yeah. Second yeah, but to No Nut those, November those that is January sixth. <laughs> Really, really sheltered fuckwads that think that women have to talk to them first. What is yeah. that about? I mean, I don't know, man. I'm not a participant. I technically like, yeah, I guess I'm not all say, the time. Hmm. <laughs> <I'm> almost, was... <laughs> almost involuntarily. <laughs> I don't even know why. It just happens to me. This magic moment. This magic moment when I'm Ooh. nutting and don't know why. No, I, I can <laughs> tell you this. It yeah. feels so good. <laughs> Bro, yeah, like it, it, if you don't know why you're nutting, yeah, 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 you got to fucking no, that you. November might be for you. Oh, <laughs> it's like that. Like, you're just fucking... well, hey, at least I'm not repressed. I'm like some of them people that mm. do practice it, mm, they sit right yeah, there, like, yeah. no, no. I knew this Mormon kid in high school who was so uptight, I tricked him. I was drawing cartoon character eyes, right? And if, like, if you're a horned up Mormon kid who, like, is not allowed to drink caffeine, right? <laughs> like he thought everything was the devil, you know? And so uh I drove I was like, hey Ryan, check this shit out. <laughs> and I drew two like cartoon character eyes, which he thought were tits. And I wanted to see if like his brain was like fucking wired all fucked up and shit. And I drew <laughs> two eyeballs and he literally jumped at me and ripped up the paper. Wow, what hell then, of a trigger there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And his uh I don't know, can I oh, fuck. I said his like real name. You really did. <laughs> no, but, you say, but you no, know how but many like, people are named Ryan in this country? Yeah, oh, same, yeah. Same. This was Ryan Gosling. This wasn't like Ryan, the Ryan I knew. This is a completely made up story about me and Ryan Gosling fighting over a cartoon pair of eyeballs. But uh, his family got in trouble <laughs> because they had a VHS store and they were fucking modifying and like altering the movies and then trying to even sell them, which is a federal crime. Mm, yes. Uh, so not bad for an uptight Mormon family. Hey, yeah, I'll start you somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you can't look at titties, but this federal crime's all right. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's Blue amazing. Legs. Blue legs are fine. It's... I mean, it's amazing how anatomy just scares the living hell out of people, man. I mean, you know, it's like I can't, I can't find any explanation on this. We must take you to the village elder so that he knows this boy is sick, the must village, be destroyed the for looking elder. at himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean that's what some it, of these people act like though. Anatomy anatomy isn't so much scary as like the things that happen when anatomies like meet, you know? Cause like think about this for a quick second, right? There are the like <laughs> could you like put yourself in the place of like being a chick. <laughs> could you imagine like having a fucking dude on top of you? <laughs> like think about that for a second. Like imagine having to look up at a guy going, oh, oh, Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> like how fucking shitty is that? The fucking worst. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I can. I, I can. I can. Have get you ever that felt image, this in your pretty... life like that? <laughs> 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 or, or or just have no emotion like in that Dave Chappelle sketch? Yeah. I just couldn't like <laughs> the wrap it up box. Yeah. I just couldn't even like. I don't. <laughs> that's just the craziest part to me. Like. That's the part that would. I think women have way more to like. Just be like, no, thank you about sex than men do. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, eh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of a horse race if you think about it. Horse, uh, a horse, a horse race. race. <laughs> wow, Jay, a horse race. I said horse, you jerk, Jesus. and you know I did. The fuck are y'all reaching for? Don't backtrack now. now. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, ain't no backtrack. I said horse. This is uh, this said. is Jabberjaw January after No Night November. You gotta uh, say what you're thinking. Uh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> horse race. Uh, you know what? What I'm oh. saying is, it pretty much is because. There are some women that will jump on a fucking man, dude. I mean, like, think about it. It goes both. I, I'm telling you. Yeah, but that's because they don't want to have to look up. I mean, to I a mean, fucking they jump right on yeah, dude, I know. just like yeah, but they want to look oh, down at a sweaty oh, man, though. Pumping away all half ass, they, half awake, yeah, half drunk. Hey, hey. They yeah, want to look different. down at a sweaty man and then <laughs> go ahead different. and just yeah. rock and roll. I don't I know like how it would be that. That's different. asserting dominance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, hey, but for isn't real. that fun though? 
And then you can roll over and do it again. Be the sweaty <laughs> dude on top. <laughs> I think it's a fair trade-off. If anything, that's the stock exchange at work. Yeah, inflation. It's a pumping yeah. scheme. I'm gonna unless pump you're one of those. Ass. Unless you're one of those. You dudes get in, so you like, get out. Unless you're one of those dudes that's just like too big, and then you have like like a tinier girl. Like, there's no way that works ever. Oh yeah, well, He's always got to be well, on top. Well, 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 well lube yeah. it right, man, and. It- <laughs> I'm always like, how tall are you? Four nah. eleven? Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, we gonna make this work, goddamn. Yo, I, I'm, <laughs> Get your I'm six, ass over here. Like, could you imagine? Oh. Could you imagine like Shaq's wife? Yeah. Yeah. W- which ones? <laughs> no, I'm sure they were all tiny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could hey, you imagine well. just being like a regular height dude in the shower with Shaq? <laughs> Fuck. Staring at his cock and shit. Staring at it, it's on your shoulders. I know. He's like, hey, him in the shampoo. You're like, all right, here you go. You think you're giving it to his hand? Is his dick? <laughs> <laughs> but he grabs you it. the shaft. It grabs sculpt it like a like a fucking elephant's trunk. He uses it like a <laughs> like a monkey's tail. <laughs> <laughs> He's picking up fucking bananas with it and shit. <laughs> you know, it's here's how you know the universe is probably real cruel. Uh, you haven't heard a lot of ladies come out about how huge like Shaq's cock is, which means it's probably not. Think about that for a second. Like you would think that if Shaq had like a giant, cartoonishly like Rule Thirty Four FNAF hentai co- size cock and shit, like wouldn't wouldn't he be on dick yelp? Like wouldn't wouldn't there be women like, oh my god, Shaq fucked me and my eyeballs popped out of my skull, or I touched the back of my brainstem. No, but they, they all signed the love contract. Love contract, my ass. The love contract. That bitch Might was like, as well she was like Kobe Bryant raped me. Love contract, my ass. Yeah, Look he at, fucked up by doing a verbal agreement. Mm-hmm. He did. He gave her like the street handshake, like the hood one, where you like slap palms and shit. <laughs> <laughs> like mm-hmm. palm fist at the end. <laughs> Can you imagine going to Denver and that's what you get into? <laughs> <laughs> and then, 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 like you know, like uh, Kobe's defense was like. Yo, your honor, it could have been me. She fucked eight other dudes. Check it out. I saw all the cum in her. You're like, yeah, that's your defense? That's fucking gross, dude. And then the whole world was like, yikes, yo. You could, I, If you showed me like a, you know, like a, a good glazed vagina and I thought to myself, how'd that happen? <laughs> Bro, at like, that point, like, no, thanks. Just, just take the fucking rape charge. Like, just... <laughs> how do you defend yourself? Like, yo, your honor, I was there. I saw eight other guys fucking her, and then I went last. Like, ah, oh, Kobe went last? That fucking sucks, you know? I mean, Start the, the punishment is fitting the crime already. Like, what yeah. else can you get him for? Exactly. See why Don Sterling didn't want his fucking girlfriend going over there and shit, hanging out with him? <laughs> it's like, do you want to end up like that bitch in Denver? She's all fucking... That, that, she walks like a, like a Roblox character now. She doesn't even fucking walk right no more. <laughs> You want eight dicks in you, huh? Yeah. Is that what you want? You want to be all fucked up in the head, huh? After taking eight dicks all night long, fresh off a playoff loss. Well, it wouldn't have damaged her much because she was already fucked up in the head. But yeah, oh, yeah, 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 for real. I guess add a little bit more air up there. A bit, <laughs> the yeah. air up there, like the <laughs> nice. I like that. The Kevin Bacon basketball movie. <laughs> Shake and bake. <laughs> He's on fire. The NBA <laughs> uh, man, what hasn't that guy done? What Kobe? <laughs> bacon. Well, he didn't. Oh, I was gonna say Kobe didn't rape her. I mean, you got to clear. You know, obviously, he was clear. Yeah, that whole was case cleared. was kind of fucking weird, though. You know what I mean? It was yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no one really wanted to get into it <laughs> after they found out eight, <laughs> of the dudes, eight of the dudes in the same night like had the same chick, and Kobe knew. It makes it like we just kind of go, oh, "All right, then he didn't do it." Okay, fine. Like we don't want to find that much out about our like heroes. You know what I mean? Like, uh, yeah. I don't want to find out that Kobe's into like being cucked. I mean, because <laughs> that'll fuck my mind up. Of course, you know, like yeah, especially now. But like yeah. you know, the sports athletes. This yeah, is yeah, like yeah. Tuesday to them, isn't it? Like when they meet groupies and shit, or like people yeah. that say, "I want to hang out with the team," and then they become part of the team well, for a little that bit. Like, that's like Magic Johnson's big fucking problem with like the four movies coming out about him, right? And the Lakers and shit. Like, isn't mm. he all like uh, uppity about um his like, image? One- yeah, like one is a documentary that he's in charge of, and then there's like two other ones that are going on that don't have him involved, and those are the ones he's all sweating because <laughs> guess what? Uh, he has AIDS, um, so that has to come out at some point. Like you can't skip over that and go like, and then Magic Johnson just retired, and he made a movie theater. <laughs> you can't do any of that. You have to, you have to give Magic Johnson the Forrest Gump ending. Someone's gonna have to go like, oh, guess what? 
magic. And he's going to go, what? What's the girl's name from fucking four? Oh, whatever. I don't know. Magic. Johnson's oh, shit. What name. was that bitch's name? Yeah. Jenna. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to see how far this goes. I know what the fuck you're talking about. But go on. Well, someone's going to have to break it to Magic Johnson that he's got fucking AIDS in these movies. Like, <laughs> someone's going to have to go, hey, Magic, uh, you got AIDS. And he's like, thanks. Great. And they're just going to breeze over it. Like, how are they going to tackle the fact that they, that part of the movie or docs better end up like fucking Philadelphia or some shit. They better get real serious. Well, not only that, but the thing is, like, who doesn't fucking know that, though? We can't skip over it because we see the fucking Batman origin in every goddamn movie that they make about that fool. Oh, man. Yeah. Which, yeah. by the way, they try to say, like, it's not going to be in this movie. You know it's it going to be in the, it's, you know the whole movie's based movie. on it. The fucking movie's not going to be in the movie. I mean, that's what he freaking said. Matt Reeves and all that stuff. Matt Reeves. With a four hour movie, I better get I mean, I mean, <laughs> you know, what, I mean, movie, my fucking I mean asshole. What, what, what would it be in that damn long and everything else? I'm God. like, shit. Uh, I mean, I wonder I'm how out. long the scene with the Waynes is going to be. I'm not even going. They better have the Waynes brothers in it than fucking the Waynes. <laughs> I mean, we got to go to Crime Alley every fucking movie. You know, like... It's a rule kinda, now. Isn't that kind of the beautiful thing that, like, that's the shit that, like, uh, they were able to kind of do with, like, the Ben Affleck movies, like, where they touched on it, but, like, they they just straight up went to him, like, fighting Superman. That's the only way you get past all that shit. Yeah. Right? Like, the Riddler's going to go, eh, I know you're Bruce Wayne, yeah. Right, it's gonna your parents, yeah, yeah, right. But yeah. yet, it, yet BVS is a bad movie and almost ruined the franchise, as they like to say. <laughs> yeah, now they can't fucking figure out where the fuck to go after that because them shits nah. are like slam dunkers <laughs> for the audience. Mm. They go to uh, HBO Max goes to Twitter every fucking day, almost like a masochist, and they go like, "Tell us movies that are living in your head rent free," and all it is is just a, a reason. For them to hashtag <laughs> restore the Snyderverse. Uh, yep. <laughs> it's just like restore dog. the Snyderverse. Restore the Snyderverse. If it's you like... can't tell, no one gives a fuck about the Batman. None. You know, like it's up there with like the Boba Fett show. No you one's, know, honestly, no one's watching it. It's that fine. show was fine when it was in practice. But in actual execution now, I'm like, oh, come on, man. Damn. Because there's like an actual Boba Fett show now, right? Yeah, and mm-hmm. anything that you liked about him is sort of Yeah, that's what I heard. Gone. He's like a literal social justice warrior. <laughs> but job I'll rule through fear. I will rule through respect. That's the premise. Wait a minute. I'm I'm not like a Star Wars lore master here, but didn't didn't Boba Fett work for Jabba the Hutt? Yes, he yeah. did. Okay. Indeed he did. I thought I was just fucking going crazy. And <laughs> but... And the less we knew about him, the cooler he was. But the more right. we know about him now, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I know. They should have left him dead. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Even though in lore, like he really wasn't dead anyway, but it's like they are riding this shit hard too, man. This is like, oh to. yeah, we're, we're we're gonna try to make Tatooine and more of a paradise. I'm like, you're on a fucking desert planet. What are you talking about? A oh, paradise. paradise. Was trying to make it like Vegas. Yeah, like fucking yeah, New Mexico. Yeah, yeah, cause, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, because those two spots are actually very nice. <laughs> yeah, Vegas is cool, but like it's a mile long, and yeah. then there's just nothing but like wasteland. Desert. I mean, don't get me wrong, Vegas is rad, but <laughs> everything around it sucks. Uh, like, it's it's kind of like when you're in Washington D.C. and you're like around the part where everybody goes to, but then you go to the part where like nobody wants to talk about. <laughs> it's the district. And that's yes. the end. That's fucking crazy. I, I mean, but you know, people like I, I don't know what they expect. I mean, like Boba Fett is a character that got popular just because he looked cool. Kind of like um that one um that one stormtrooper they try to throw at us. Like, what was her name? Something. Captain she, Phasma. She, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, like she she just looked cool. That yeah. was the whole point about it. Yeah, because she did absolutely nothing. Nothing. Two fucking movies. Yeah, they made her like chrome for no reason. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, like, was, that was that was it. Is she a and, transformer or some shit? <laughs> I mean, and, and then like even then, like Finn took care of her off screen, and it didn't even. Man, I hate I hate new Star Wars. I really do, dude. They they fuck, they fucked that <laughs> friend. They fucking. They fucked that franchise up, yo. They, oh man! I mean, turn it into a lifestyle up. brand and everything. I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Damn, the condom. <laughs> That'd be sick. They oh, turned it into a condom. R two, R R. Well, it was a condom that was never used. Lifestyle. It was a recycled. It was a recycled condom. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, the first two episodes of the Boba Fett show was good, but I just, 
Found myself losing interest around about the third and the fourth. The font on the condom says Skywalker on it, but it only gets to like Skywalk. <laughs> Everyone, no one's well. Keep in mind, like manager. with the way this new woke direction is going, the Skywalkers yeah. don't even fucking matter. <laughs> like yeah. you know, that's fucking crazy. So, <laughs> like, like don't ever mention Luke Skywalker to modern Star Wars fans. Pretty much, they can't handle it. It's so <laughs> you know? it's so easy to write better stories for these fucking existing universes, and they just fuck it up continuously. It's amazing well, to me. A long time ago, when those books were around, <laughs> and those dark horse comics and all that stuff like yeah. yeah you had the stories right there but then ah oh man that's just it like you look at warner brothers and you look at a star wars and it's pretty much the same stupid animal ran by the same stupid people yeah. that's all it really is <clears throat> disney's kind of like with all their marvel shit too they're realizing that too like they made that really weird random not like logical progression of these characters right like after Endgame or whatever they just like started throwing shit at the wall mm -hmm. and Sony's got to be laughing it up because they're like, dude, the only reason why people saw your fucking Spider-Man movie is because our two Spider-Men are in it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yes, it's the only reason why it made that much money, you know, because the other Spider-Man movies didn't, you know what I mean? And it's probably really only based off the Sam Raimi hype for that Spider-Man. You know? Yeah, that was a big part of it. Yeah, and then the whole point of like, you know, oh wait, Andrew there's going to be a continuation for the Andrew Garfield. Movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, yeah, you know. And it's just so funny that it's just like Disney's probably thinking like, okay, but what now? <laughs> like now that those guys are now like solidified on their own track, we're literally stuck with Tom Holland. Well, like, for a while there, they acting like uh, well, IGN was trying to push this, so you know, like I said before, oh, yeah. it's always an agenda. Trying to push like, oh, Tom Holland doesn't want to be the character anymore. I'm like, he signed for three extra fucking movies. You already mentioned this on your website. What the hell are you doing? Yeah. I wonder if they're going to do that finagle thing, too, where they <clears throat> sometimes say, like, him showing up as a guest spot in the movie counts as one of them. Eh, it could I'll be take that, it. But... Yeah, it's like, I don't... That's, I think, the reason why I didn't want to go see, like, No Way Home, because... I don't want to be left with Tom Holland. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I was kind of worried that was going to happen too. And that's the thing is just like, I know that's where they're going to have, they're going to have to leave it there. You know, like, so I don't fucking care. Like if you had told me, guess what? Tom Holland, Spider-Man gets his fucking head smashed in by Dr. Octavius. I'd been like, hell yeah. I want to see Tobey Maguire murder the green goblin or something. And also shit. that would have been, that would have been the way better ending. It would have been a consequence, right? Something. I don't know. I, I don't Well, know. in the end, they ended up curing. Well, no offense to those who haven't seen the movie, but they were running around curing the villains. So what happens in that timeline with the other two? That's what I'm wondering. How do you mm -hmm. cure somebody with robot arms attached to their back? You put a metal somebody, ship on them. <laughs> exactly. Or somebody with severe, like, mental health issues. You inject them <laughs> with a counter. You inject like, them how do you with a I got them, Dr. Formula. Phil. Like, how do you, yeah, like, how do you cure that? Because, you know, there's like well, well, millions of well, people that would like to know. According to the movie yeah. logic, you inject them with a, um, you inject the green goblin with a um, counter goblin formula. Somehow he made it. And then, God. The, you, you know, and, and then like they put the microchip right back there at Dr. Octavius' head. So, yeah, he's cured. And then you cure Sandman. Like, everybody's cured now. <sighs> so, like. So you got yeah. rid of all your good villains. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so and much. And then, like, Whoa, so much for a Sinister Six now. Yeah. Okay. Bye. I don't have yeah, to see these much. movies no more. See the later. Sinister Five was doing great, right? <laughs> like, yeah. you know? that was the same mistake that fucking Captain America made when they killed Red Skull off immediately. Yeah. Doesn't Phase One almost seem like <clears throat> unwatchable at this point? Yes. Yeah. Like, is it is it because like we watch them a lot, or is it just because it's just not aging well? Well, to be fair, I really don't need to see it anymore. Yeah, I you think know? that's what happened. I think it, it like canceled those movies out. It, it it was exciting for its time, but now that you realize that everything happened and like we got through Endgame, some people loved it, some people hated it. I didn't really care at that point. <laughs> you know, yeah. I just so wanted just to see age. Thanos get beat. You know so what just, I mean? Yeah. That's all I wanted to see. So it just didn't age well. Yeah, they just. I, it's so funny because I mean, like the first Iron Man is great. But yeah. like you're watching it and you're kind of like, yeah, but this is fucking like a one. This is like RoboCop to me. Well, hell, you know, the incre <laughs> you know, the Incredible Hulk movie that came out wasn't that bad either. But everybody hated that. So I was like, yeah, I liked it. You know, yeah. wait, the Incredible Hulk. Yeah, yeah the, that uh, one where uh, he fought Abomination in Harlem. OK, yeah, yeah. that was good. That was pretty good. 
and yet they didn't like use it as <laughs> yeah they said fuck you to edward yeah. they said fuck you mm-hmm. to edward norton the oscar winning writer and actor who really wanted to make those movies what did yeah. they do why did they do that I'm about some about creative differences you know he probably creative. wanted it to he, he wanted he wanted more control over it and he's like i want to make it and want to give it up They're like no 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 we're only interested no, no, no. in making shit look look look, look. yeah <laughs> yeah, 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 look, yeah take yeah. take your fucking awards somewhere else all right like, like, just, just things... get the hell out of here we want to just make this yeah we're, we're trying to make things where people feel urged to throw their popcorn at the screen we <laughs> We're not trying to make people enjoy their food. What, theater, what okay? are you trying to do? Be a credible fucking filmmaker? Get out. Yeah. What do you want to do? The Dark Knight? I what mean, is this? Dark House? <laughs> oh, man. Fantastic foreskin. That's my porn parody. <laughs> you could probably just get to the shits because this is kind of like right up, right up the, uh, right up what I wanted to talk about with you fellows. Uh, you want to talk shit. about shit? Hell yeah, you know what I'm saying? Let's shoot that shit. Hell yeah. Take that shit. All right, Odell. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am uh, Marco Flores Jr. I'm washed. You might know me as Mr. Your Mom's Favorite or as they know me from uh, my Spider-Man porn parody name, The Green Gobbler. Uh, Oof. <laughs> it's not what you think. I was just making pies, I think. Um, uh, cream pies. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and to my virtual left and right, I have uh, J, J Man, J360, Mr. Jams himself, JM Brady. J, what's yep. hello? How's it going, everybody? Thank hey, you, Marco, man. for that terrific intro, man. It's good to be here back on the SOTA, hanging with my bros. Let's yeah. do this thing. Hell yeah. And uh, to his right, left, whatever, use your fucking imagination, is. Uh, Lucifer, Mr. Champango, we know him as Eric. You can call him Mr. Plan B, if you know what I'm saying, ladies. (laughs) (laughs) He's got got them Skywalker lifestyles. Um, (laughs) And uh, yeah, this is state of the art. Uh, Al has continued to be in the streets. It's been a he's been he's been all over the place. He's out there getting hood reports from places like Southeast Asia and um, little Armenia. Uh, yeah, he's still alive. He's looking to join back the next episode. Yeah, no worries. No worries, man. Uh, God bless. You know, uh, Street Warrior uh, needs prayers. Prayers up. Uh, prayers up, A-Town Down. What? Okay. We wouldn't know what's going on in the streets without him, so. Yeah, that's true. And right <laughs> Man now, of the been, streets. Streets have been poet. real quiet, which means Al's been doing his job. You know what I'm saying? Or Omicron has. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, sh- shit. Let's not talk about that. She, she. Oh no, let's talk about it. Embarrassed <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> so, I had kind what of you got like, to lose. Anyway, <laughs> it's a new year since we've done this, and uh, people are most likely back on their bullshit, right? Their little resolutions. Mm-hmm. So I figured we could ease the people in to something uh, more of along the lines of uh, you know a, a one topic. If we get off of it, that's fine. But you guys had sent something in the group chat that I that really made me think. And it was the news, uh, the impossibilities of, if in your mind you thought to yourself, 2022 is literally called 2022, like a bad sequel, right? So here we are, it's January, and the fuckery is still heavily uh, in circulation. Um, But there was news <laughs> that officially Warner Brothers has greenlit Mortal Kombat 2. I'm pretty sure another potentially ah. terrible fucking sequel. Now... We can talk about that, but bigger than that is I wanted to ask you guys, do you think that the filmmaking landscape is uh, creatively dead? Without a doubt. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's been dead. I honestly, I think the, uh, the whole, uh, the whole pandemic just like, no, everybody just stopped giving a shit almost right. at the same time. Yeah. <clears throat> Because in my mind, I saw that news you guys had shared, and Jay, you even shared the other article where it was like now announced that it's going to be like Mortal Kombat 2, which is a movie that I don't think even fucking the crew liked. <laughs> you mean movie. to tell me that we're getting a Mortal Kombat sequel, but not a fucking Power Rangers sequel? Yeah, exa- thank you. Exactly. There's mm-hmm. no, yeah. Yeah, we're not getting a Suck Power Rangers sequel. Suck my ass hair. Yeah. <laughs> think about that fucking supreme injustice right there. Um, this is the second worst thing to happen since January 6th. Um, so, so, uh, um, like I thought to myself, if nobody liked it in the audience, right, (laughs) who is making the decision 
to greenlight a sequel unless do you think because all these companies have streaming platforms now are they pumping out content that eventually has to go to a theater yeah because they have pre-existing contractual obligations yeah but do you think primarily that these things are kind of like studios are now looking at movies as straight to video anyways yes i think that has everything to do with the quality of shit that's out there right right now. because like i haven't i haven't had the heart to watch the new matrix movie I think it really because, doesn't feel like it's worth it right right i and i don't want to like um al said this on a hangouts uh we're like the original matrix trilogy ha trilogy has its issues like any trilogy does but you have mm -hmm. to admit that it's like if you're an anime sci-fi like akira type fan it's it's great right because yeah. it follows the same tropes as every anime does that starts out ghost in the shell ish and then turns absurd Mm -hmm. Right. <clears throat> so I thought the only reason why you're making a Mortal Kombat 2 is because there's nothing to watch on HBO Max. Yeah. Like, I mean, you can only watch so much Curb Your Enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> well, I mean, a like season every 16 years or whatever. If, if anything, that, like I would say that things are kind of creatively bankrupt, but it's out mm -hmm. there in the mainstream anyway. Yeah. And they people still consume this crap because there is nothing else to consume like anything. Yeah. And they pretty much are making themselves go into a box because studios are like this. Hey, this is the easiest thing to do. We don't have to work as hard as much. And if you hate it, we still get attention anyway. So, right. yeah, keep on doing this whole thing because you know that's how we make our money now yeah i also and the think market that's, was going to change i also think that's why like streaming and just like these bullshit like 30 second videos that you see like on fucking instagram or whatever are like i dare i say like better than anything you're gonna see in the theaters mm. you know because like yeah. i don't know yeah. i think that has a lot to do with it too yeah the, i think the um the acceptance of quality has dropped, right? I think because <clears throat> some shit doesn't look better than like your average. This is kind of like my criticism of a lot of the Marvel movies as they even got bigger. It's like the scale of the movies got bigger, but the look of the budget of the sets and shit looks like it got smaller, right? Like, so to go back to what we were talking about before, like in the pre-show, like Iron Man looks fucking awesome. Right, a really, really like it's got scope to it in a way that even like Iron Man three doesn't. You know, what I mean? does that make sense? Like, yes. Mm -hmm. Like the first Captain America has like wars going on in the background, and like the new Marvel movies, they look big, right? Because the fucking NPCs in the background doing backflips and shit, fighting other CG characters. But like, let's take the biggest criticism I think where it finally hit everybody was like the airport fight scene in Civil War. Where people, I think, just kind of finally realize, like, I'm watching cartoon characters fight. Soundstage, for sure. Right. And you're just like, this looks like shit. Is this what I've been watching the whole time? Dude, that shit looked like something we would have used in film school. Yes. This was like a, this, this was like what fanfic movies look like on YouTube. Like, this was um, uh, midterms. This is what our sets, <laughs> that's literally what our sets look like. Yeah, that fight scene was my barn doors. <laughs> <laughs> it was like those barn doors i painted for that thing we shot that no one ever saw on camera that, it mean, was not even in, it was in like one shot and not even in focus they like, looked so real that racked out of focus they looked super real yeah well yeah, yeah right, <laughs> but you right, never saw yeah, a totally. shot so i mean to be fair it's like yeah because all those contract obligations all that money right there even though they have the money to act like they don't so they had to cheapen somewhere. It might as well be the action scenes that we all came to see. So, yeah, you're right. Like, as big as the scale was, more actors you had to put in there, pretty much the less dynamic the scenes and the sets were. And the same thing is, like, when you look at, like, Iron Man, you only had to follow one superhero then. You had to follow, like, what? Like, at least five to fucking ten of them now? Yeah. <laughs> like, Team A and Team B. And that's and, pretty much and what like, um, they all fly. Infinity War was, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like they everything's a special out. effect and shit. So, so, like, essentially what you're saying is, like, they were just counting on you, like, following your favorite character, like, in the fight rather than, like, where he actually was. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so much to keep a track sense. of and stuff. It's like, because I feel at like the end that of the day, was, it's like, yeah. That was, that's been kind of the biggest. That's like the biggest red flag to me with a lot of these movies that I see. This is my even my issue with like the Batman, right? Where it's like, 
obviously shot on digital, but they try to make the titles look shaky like they're on film, like some fucking Tarantino movie. Oh, yeah, we're going to use the 90 aesthetic, man. Yeah. Nirvana was a big, big draw for this. And I'll say this. Kurt, Co- <laughs> Kurt Cobain is just white people's Bob Marley, all right? I'm fucking tired of this shit. I'm just going to say it and get it out of the way. Kurt Cobain well, might be just a little overrated. Okay? What's wrong with that? Yeah, I'm just, people, I'm just going to put it out there. White people deserve a Bob Marley. But you know how, like, you ask well, somebody, what hey, happened you to like Springsteen? Bob Marley? Anyway. And they, go, and they go, like, yeah, I love Bob Marley. Like, oh, name all of his albums. And they go, oh, they can't oh, name one. What about uh, name that one. one song? Uh, yeah, yeah, they can't name one. They'll probably throw a legend at you, which was a compilation anyway. Yeah, Fuck they'll, probably, they'll actually probably quote you a Wyclef Jean song about being president. Yeah, oh. and then not only that, they'll go after uh, a Jimmy Cliff song, too. Yeah, they'll be like, oh, my favorite Bob Marley song well, is like, when I was, if I was president. If I was president, <laughs> I'd be a legend on Friday. Oh, fuck, man. That fucking song. <laughs> and, um, and it, it oh, okay. To go and he and ran from lie. his own home country with the money. That's the money. That's the oh, ironic my part. God. I'm like a fucking motorcycle. Then they have the balls to take a picture, like, oiled up in a Speedo on his birthday, like, a month <laughs> after that. If anyone knows, he does, Google just it. Just don't this give a shit, is. man. Yeah, they should call him, uh, yeah. <laughs> White Clive John, like sick ass fool. Shit, he's a refugee, all right. Um, he care about the people. Yeah, but you know, like if anything, I I just look at it like this. I'm like, there, it is possible to do these things, but shit is, it's it's a fucking mountain to climb. Yeah, put it that way, like you know, because I I, I want to do a movie with you two guys. I want us to go ahead and build some stuff up and things because we still got yeah. a fighting chance. Yeah, but the problem is. The studio system has been broken for a long fucking time, and it's obvious out there. And now they they really showing you they don't give a shit. As long as you go ahead and you show out all that money and stuff, that's why they're pushing the Batman so hard on us. Oh, the Batman got this. Oh, the Batman got that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We're oh, living here's up the to Batman all the hype. Cat trailer, and it's like, yeah. are you showing me this shit because you already pretty much revealed the story to me? Yeah. In the fucking other trailers, and you fucked up now. Hey, I why does Robin have... Pattinson wear eyeliner for this? <laughs> I, I honestly should have stopped watching the Batman trailers because legit, I was excited in, in, in the beginning. But the more trailers that I saw, it's the, the last... same Pretty shots. much movie. It's just like... Pretty uh, much the movie. Like, I get it. These are the only action scenes, guys. It's yeah. fine. Okay? And over the three Dark Knight hours. Rises had like four fights in it. <laughs> yeah. and the, we got a and four the... hour movie and there's only two minutes worth of action. Like, what I'm am I out? Do? I'm out. I was gonna say, tell me there's a, a Batman Arkham sequel. I'm At fucking least. Oh, yeah. it, thank you. Exactly. And so it it becomes this thing where it's like, do you think that the creative bankruptcy also leads into mediums like video games being like it's almost making it too easy to say fuck you to movies right because let's let's compare george lucas sold star wars for maybe i think like four to seven billion right okay it was like a 30 billion thing but yeah somewhere ah, around there i don't know i'll look 30, it up. or 30 million or something like that it's something it's, like, it's it's up there but right. it, it, they, he sold it on october 30th which is my day of course right, right so right. that that already stinks your day but you know okay so let's see how George Lucas. And man, did he get the shaft? So four point one. Wait, what? Was it a one point one billion deal? Four point one. Four point one. Okay, that's still a top number though. But so that's Star Wars. That's and this is Star Wars. Star Wars. Like the this is something that like Disney has to live off, right? Okay, so four point one billion for uh, something that's been around for fucking thirty years is like a zeitgeist of culture. It's only longer yeah okay Mm. microsoft bought activision for almost like 70 billion dollars get the fuck out of here Mm -hmm. think think about like how much is call of duty hated and it's still worth more than fucking star wars because people are freaking tired of it and that's so that to me is like People always complain about video games being creatively kind of like repetitive, right? Oh, it's the same kind of thing. But the difference is, is to me, repetitive, yes, but I think that's where video games like, you know, Halo got a bunch of shit because people are mad that the multiplayer is a little buggy, right? Not only was the game made uh, during a pandemic and they didn't even bitch about it. They just still made the game, you know, mm-hmm. like, so they got it out, blah, blah, blah. But the story is great. Like the campaign is a lot of fucking fun. Okay, so that's where I feel like that 
disconnect is where I think the film industry could learn something. Like if you're going to Twitter and you're HBO Max and you keep saying shit like just to almost fuck yourself with the big old spiky dildo, right? Is to go like, what's your favorite cinematic movie you saw in 2021? And everyone's going to tell you fucking Justice League, right? Obviously, they're not going to tell you that Denzel movie with uh, the guy who was also uh, Queen. Um, it was like some shitty whodunit murder mystery with Denzel Washington. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Exactly. Hey, what was that movie? But that's the problem. That's a movie <laughs> with Denzel Washington in it. Okay. <laughs> and fucking Jared Leto in it. And no one can tell you what the fucking movie is called. The and they launched things? the app with it. Yes. There you finally. There we go. <laughs> Wait, what was it called? Rami Malik? Yes. Yeah. Are you sure? There's, there's <laughs> fucking... No, no, no. What was that called? The Little, the little things. things. Wow. Dutch. Wow, that's coming back now. Oh, and so shit. this is where this is where that disconnect comes in. Is the difference is you could have your gripes about a video game, but there's something tactile about it. Right. Like there's something um, different because you can interact with it. I think m movie companies <clears throat> think that streaming was their way to like convince the audience that this shit's better than it is. Mm -hmm. Like we're in the home, just like fucking Xbox Game Pass. Uh, yeah. Except the difference, though, dude, is like I might hate Madden, but if it's free, I'm going to I'm going to play it. <laughs> Well, of course you are, you know. You know that's what, what I told saying? you. That's what I told you. Like anybody who knows me would 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 get me mad in because they know I would want it. I'm not gonna buy not it. Gonna me. Buy it. <laughs> yeah, it I might be a shitty respect. year, but you'll still play it. Right, but like if somebody bought me the new Star Wars trilogy, I would throw that shit away. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's and so think about the reality where in the midst of a pandemic, these companies couldn't figure out their shit, but. 343 was still able to make a Halo game that pleased fans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, and it's not movies. are. It's, it's just, it's a funny thing to me because Eric's making a good point where he, when he's saying like the shit you see like on TikTok isn't high quality, but it's just interesting, but it's also real. Right. So it's got something that grabs people's attention. And this was the biggest right. mistake, I think, with the biggest fall. Like, and and to be frank, there was a podcast bubble for a couple of years, and it popped over 2020. Podcasts aren't even what they were anymore. Nope, not by a long shot. So, something happens where these things were like tactile. Podcasts are these things where someone could have a show, and they could have a Twitter account or an Instagram or whatever, and you could be in contact with them. You know, it made it personal. The same way like where, why Twitch takes off because you can talk to that person in real time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I feel like these movies, like Jay said, the, the studio almost gets so fucking mad that people don't like the direction they're going in <laughs> that they push it harder. Like they think, oh, yeah, you think that's dumb? Watch this shit. <laughs> and then they just fucking go a step above. So like we're saying, like the Batman trailer... Now that you're showing me the bat and the cat as if I've never seen Batman and Catwoman on a screen together, you either think I'm fucking retarded or you don't think your movie's very good. Or you've never seen Batman before. And right. you don't <laughs> respect the audience enough. Right. Yeah. Never, and then like, like we're saying, like a four hour cut of a movie. You think I believe that? Like you wouldn't even let David Ayer do a fucking street level, real grimy version of Suicide Squad. So you chopped it into oblivion and added a bunch of like flutter edits and like lens flare shit titles and called it poppy right so mm -hmm. like what is what does that say about the industry that is just like green lighting mortal Kombat 2 <laughs> who the fuck wants that it's like saying you know what everybody really wants a captain marvel 2 no we don't yeah here we go it's like when they said the little things was the number one movie in america it's like yeah, yeah because the app just launched i mean you know how they like to lie and manipulate yeah. man and like remember when i said it on the j man show yesterday a confused mind is easier to control than a strong one. Yes. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of confused, frightened motherfuckers out there. It's like when they say things like, oh, the Boba Fett show is so, like, ideologically strong. It's triggering, like, the right wing. Like, no, people yeah. don't like it, dude. Nah. It nah they, fucking... they push that Boba Fett on you, though, man. So yeah. you get in there, boom, boom, boom. You see it all over. Man, maybe I should watch this. And it's like, wait, I don't want to watch this for an obvious reason. What the fuck am I doing? Going off that, we'll even finish on this 
topic to relate. <clears throat> Originally, streaming platforms like Netflix were open to take like indie projects left and right, right? And uh -huh. I think they've they learned their lesson because they took on a bunch of really bad ones. <laughs> um, do you think that the streaming platforms will ironically become the death of a lot of these studios? You know, because I don't think they realized how much money it takes to constantly pump out content, right? It's why, like, Netflix really only bought, like, reruns for a long time. And then when it was, like, an original movie or documentary, they marketed the shit out of it. Um, But then now you go on Netflix and there's just, like, a whole flood of Netflix originals of yeah. shit I would never watch. <laughs> Like, no interest at all on anything, none, right? None, none, no, yeah. I'd say yes and no. I mean, yes, if you don't know how to do this damn business model, right? Like, streaming in general is a different business model than, say, like, the traditional film distribution anyway. Yeah. And you see, once they got their hands on it, they've been doing it for all the wrong fucking reasons. Mm -hmm. And I mean, like, oh, on one hand, like, with pandemic time, yeah, okay, I get it. But you got to you got to stay steady with it, you know? Yeah. And then, like, of course, like when it comes to like at that moment, that movie's supposed to it's supposed to grow. It's supposed to recoup all that money you spent making the damn thing. And then some so you can have a profit mm -hmm. like the whole like for a while there. They didn't even know how to make money from this shit. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. what it is. So I say yes and no. It really depends on the <laughs> studio and who's in charge of distribution. Yeah. And if they actually fucking work together, you know, some people are like, oh, I don't want to push that movie. I want to push this shit instead. Yeah. You know, things like that. When you see the ad that says the Batman is the number one streamed movie in the world. I like, can't yeah. wait to see that shit. Because it's free, dog. Like, yes. I think the problem is that all these studios went and just like gave us what we were trying to get away from, which was like a cable bill. <laughs> Yeah, you know I mean? yes, it's turning into it. Yeah, it is. So it it's basically just like it's like a a reboot, if you will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? When, like that. The like we're that... they're rebooting cable. That's all they're doing. Oh yes. yeah. When when, I mean, you leave one shitty system for another shitty system. Right. Yeah. So like, but... I think I think that's their major problem. Like, had they all just stuck to like, like three, even you know, like Hulu, Netflix, and like a third one, whatever. Like, yeah, I think I think people like the interest be like a little bit higher and then might and then turn that might even like like all the like creatively that might make everything better, too. Mm. Yeah. If you narrow, I think like you're right, because I think had they done something with like, let's say HBO Max was the name of the app. Right. Because with HBO Max, you get all the HBO content anyways. Yeah. Right? Mm hmm. So if you said shit like, oh, all these Warner Brothers movies are just going to HBO and HBO Max. Like they're going to the cable channel and then they're going to the app as well. Yeah. Right. And then if you're Disney because you own Hulu, there was no fucking reason for you to start Disney Plus. No reason. You could have just mm -hmm. put everything on Hulu. Right. But and, they got to have their name out there. It's right. Stroke. And it's and so for me, especially because Hulu offers like live TV services, yeah. you would have thought Disney would have been like, oh, We'll just fucking put all the new movies and content on Hulu. Because why the fuck not? It's already like a stable platform. It works. It also gives you live TV. We become like a YouTube TV competitor yeah. at the mm -hmm. same time. And then you think Netflix would just try to start make. I mean, Netflix was trying to make deals with film companies for years. And those film companies said, nah, no, there's no fucking money in that. Yeah. You know, yeah. every single company they tried to go to is started their own app. And of course, you know, like when it comes to that, there is that whole moment where like things get really, really oversaturated and destroys itself. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a, think that's a problem. Coming, it's coming way sooner, too, because every every single network has one. And then, you know. Yeah. It. Yeah. Because you look at know. like if you I feel like it can't, your... it can't come soon enough. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel. Well, like keep in mind, we still obviously... got that. We got that midpoint, man. The fuckery is not to a proper boil yet, but it's getting there. The sad thing is, just think about this. There's not even summer movies they're marketing anymore. Like, <laughs> of course about not. That. Right now is when they usually start with hyping people up with summer movies. They're not. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Like the Batman. If anybody who doesn't know, <laughs> January to March is like send your movie to die season. 
<laughs> yep. Especially okay. January. So like the fact that the Batman comes out in March isn't a good sign for the Batman. No. Not to me, if I'm looking at my old school Hollywood release date concept, yeah. right? Yeah. So mm. it explains why they have to announce something like, oh, but it's going to come to streaming like a week after that or whatever, some weird ass time This frame. movie was not going to fly, put it that way. Right. Like we knew that we only had to do this because Ben Affleck said, no, thank you. Right. So now we had all this money put aside and we have to start shooting something because it's in our contracts. We have all the union guys signed up for a gig. We got to go shoot something more like ran them out. Yeah, exactly. And now <laughs> go to Twitter and HBO Max gets a restore, restore the Snyder. But that's OK, guys. We have a saving grace. The Flash movie. Guys, haven't you seen the Batgirl set v- pictures? Yeah, haven't you seen those pictures, man? <laughs> It's like, dog, they're, you keep they shooting are, yourself in the oh dark here, God. guys. Stop shooting it. Shooting themselves in the fucking dick. I mean, like, you know, just flat out <laughs> doing that. They, they know. They, you know hey, I'm you, right. You, you know I'm right. in the dick. The, the fucking lights are on. And, you know, as he says that, he looks in the mirror and sees himself. Oh, my God. Well, oh, I, we have a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been information packed. And I don't think there's anything to top the pre-show, by the way. So I am Marco. Jay. Eric. I'm Jay, man. I'm the moose. And uh, thank you all for joining. State of the art. We're going to catch you on the next. Peace. Dick Ching Ching Ching. Every day my employees get scam emails. I wanted to protect my business and clients, so I checked out CISA's Secure Our World. They've got four simple ways we can protect our businesses from online threats. Learn more at cisa.gov forward slash secure our world. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW group. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus.